Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Now in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to build a radar system in Minecraft. No mods, no trickery. This is vanilla Minecraft, and it's using the new 1.17 Skulk sensor. So, if you don't know what the Skulk sensor is, let me show you. It detects noise, like it did right there, and as you can see, the machine was working a little bit. Basically, this thing detects when I walk around, as you can see that wave. It detects when I fall down, and it detects a bunch of other things that we will probably getting into, like this snowball. So let me show you, this will simulate someone walking by or mobs. So let's say you have a base, and you want to know where people are in the area. Maybe not a base, but you just want a radar detection to see where is basically mobs walking or players, or something of that sort. So basically, this is south, as you can see here in the F3 menu, and then this is uh, west, north, and east. And then there's like this northeast and northwest, all those different things. So let's say someone's walking over there. See? The light turns on and it blinks twice. Let's say someone's walking here in the east. You throw a snowball, I just simulating the walking. And as you can see there, it, the light blinks twice, indicating someone's in the east. Let's say someone's here in the southwest. You throw a snowball, or they're walking. As you can see, the light blinks twice. And even if they're really far away, if you have multiple of these things, I'll show you how to build each of these platforms going outwards. You throw a snowball all the way over there, and as you can see, the light still blinks. So this is a great radar detection system. Of course, if they're in between, especially at this close proximity, if they're in between them, both lights would blink, but that tells you that they're between these two locations. So this is a very accurate way of determining who is in the locations and where they are, and I think it's so cool. But, enough of talking, let's get in to the tutorial. Okay guys, so for this tutorial, what you will need is you will need 8 oak trapdoors, or any trapdoors are fine, I'm using oak trapdoors, but any trapdoors are fine. 8 sticky pistons, 16 skulk sensors, now of course this is in the 1.17 snapshot, as of recording this video we are not in 1.17 yet, we're in 1.16, so you might need to wait a little bit, but if you're playing in the snapshots, you do need 16 skulk sensors, then you need 8 red wool, I like to color code my wool, so I would use 8 red wool, 34 white wool, and 41 black wool. And then what you will need is you'll need 8 redstone lamps, 41 of any glass, I like the new tinted glass which is in the 1.17 update, so, and then here, any glass is fine though, and then I'm using 32 black concrete and now these are optional I use those as you can see in my platforms around of course you won't have those platforms you want it to be disguised so just for the purpose of this video six white concrete six orange concrete six magenta concrete six light blue concrete six yellow concrete six lime concrete six pink concrete and six red concrete but then you also don't need those because it will be hidden anyways i just mentioned those for the purpose of that video so yeah let's get in to the tutorial okay guys so i forgot to say that you also need eight observers so when i was going through the items in the chest i forgot to put in the observers so you do need eight observers when building this so first thing you want to do is grab your white wool and you want to place one white wool in the middle of this and then what you want to do is you want to come off in the sides and place down two pieces of wool like this, two more pieces of wool like so, two more pieces of wool like this, and two more and two more like this so you get this type of shape. Then what you want to do is you want to come off one here, one here, and you want to just go around building like a kind of like a pyramid kind of thing, but you just want these L shapes all around and then this pillar in the middle. Then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab your sticky pistons. One here, 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 and the last one over here. So we have these eight shapes. As you can see, this is in the layout of the lamps. Now, I want to grab my eight wool and place them like this. I'll, you don't need red wool. As I said earlier, I just like to color code because these will be the ones that are actually going to turn the light on. So I like to color code that. Okay, then what you want to do is you want to take your skulk sensors and place two like this, and then two like this, and then two right here, and all of them have to be next to the pistons, and then two like so, so you have this shape, I can fly up here, 
so you have this type of shape. Then you want to come off with your white wool and place on top of each of these skulk sensors two more, like so, and like that. And that is it for the wool parts, except for the black wool, which is part of the design. Maybe I should have placed the skulk sensors later because this part might be difficult to place. But you have to place eight observers like this around on top. Only one block spacing, so you want to make sure that those eyes are facing down into the red blocks, but there's a one block spacing in between them. So you want to come around with your observers like so. And then what you want to do is you want to come with your wool your black wool and this is the black wool is just for design because I think it matches very nicely with the aesthetics of the di design for the radar system so you just come around with your black wool and also the black wool isolates so that the uh, that those skulk sensors can't really detect you're walking around and then you want to just come off finish like this then you want to come off with your redstone lamps and place the redstone lamps on top of each of the observer like so and then you want to come with your tinted glass or whatever glass you want and again this is for design because I also try to incorporate the design into the builds so you just come around with your glass around each of the lamps like so and of course this is a floor design I'm pretty sure you can rework it if you want it in the wall this is just a floor design for the radar detection and then we come here with our black concrete and wrap around one entire wrap around so that it gives a nice border around the glass like so and that is the main contraption or the main computing done with the radar system now we have to build out the outer platforms which I will show you how to do so for these straight sections you want to come off eight so one two three four five six seven eight then you want to place your skulk sensor here it's the one block out of the range so as you can see if I place one right here it sends a signal and this one is just one block out of the range and you want to take your trapdoor and place it towards the block that is in the range like so so as you can see if I step here it sends a signal and lights that light and you want to do that for all of these four corners like so so one two three four five six seven eight then block and then trap door and then again here one two three four five six seven eight and block trap door and then for this final one one two three four five six seven eight block and then the trap door okay guys so now for the diagonals what we'll have to do is we come to this piston right here and of course if you walk it might power it but what you have to do is come to this piston go diagonally one two three four five and then here we place a trap door and then this powered thing and what I might want to do is I want to place it here I like to just keep up this design so that if the pistons are two like that I like to have two like this in this orientation and then for here one two three four five and then right here in that orientation and then over here one two three four five trap door and then skulk sensor like so and then for this final one one two three four five and then for here like this and then the skulk sensor right there that is out of range now what you want to do is you want to come of course you'd have this under the ground but what I will do is I'll have these concrete and I want to go above each of these and then place in a 3x3 three three square above each of these. This is basically the ground level. And then that would be a little bit above ground level. Unless you want to design a system that goes downwards. But for this design, the radar system will be slightly above ground level. And of course, if you walk around in here, as you can see, that will power that light. Let me just get the ones around and then I'll show you how to extend this outwards. Okay, guys. So as you can see here, I got all the platforms in. Now, of course, if these platforms are under your base, if your base is larger than this tiny platform, which I do assume is, then you can just put wool instead of those nice colored concrete that I did. You can put wool over it, and then when you're walking in your base, of course, that wouldn't trigger, trigger your own uh, radar system. So, let me show you how you guys extend this. Now, this was not in the chest, 
So I'll, this is more expensive. You'll need more skulk sensors, trapdoors, and then of course flooring. So what you want to do is again come off of here for the diagonals one, two, three, four, five, and then place your trapdoor like this one closer. So one, two, three, four. The fifth block is actually a trapdoor, and then you place two of those so like this because this one works a little differently. The radius. So when you have one here, the first one is just a singular one, then you come off one, two, three, four, then trapdoor, and then two sensors, and then one, two, three, four, five, trapdoor again, and then one sensor. So that's how you can work your way diagonally. And then of course you can place blocks on top of your sensors. This is of course where the floor would be. And that's basically what I did over there. And if you want to know for the elongated ones, you just come off again eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight block. That's where the skulk sensor goes. And then the eighth one is a trap door. And then you can come off here. This is, of course, where the flooring would be. And you can place in your blocks like this. So if I walk here, you can see that piston goes up, which triggers that light to flow. Whereas if I'm all the way over here and I fall down, then it would trigger that light to show that there's a radar system. Now, of course, if I'm in between, you have to decide what do you consider this? Do you consider this another white spot or do you consider this an orange spot? So you can decide how you want to divide these areas. You most likely will need another sensor somewhere in here and then maybe one there. So you can decide that it's in both southeast and west and that's actually a pretty random location. That's actually a good spot. So you can have it like this. And then orange, I just want to show that it's hybrid and it shows that it's both somewhere in between those two systems. So that's basically what you can do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to build a radar system in Minecraft. Please hit that subscribe button if you like those types of videos. And like if you did like this video. And notification bell when you want to be notified when more of these types of videos come out. But that is it for me guys. Goodbye and see you later.